All right, so because we added um, our blue circles to create our water, now what we're going to do is we're going to start to add our silhouette. And one of the things that I want you guys to pay attention to is um, when you're using your brackets um, to change the size of your brush, which is your circle, if you can't see your brush as a circle, that probably means your caps lock key is on and you just need to turn it off. So before I get started talking about adding your silhouette and how to create that layer, I want you guys to see this. So when I do my B for my brush, do you see how I can actually see my brush, right? My circle, I can see it. So one way that we'll know um, that caps lock is on is, do you see how I can't see my circle? But when I go to right, right? So that means my caps lock key is on. So I need to make sure that that's not happening. So when I turn off my caps lock, I can actually see my brush's circle. Another thing is, is when you're using your brackets to make your brush bigger or smaller, sometimes you kids get confused. Do you see how I can't see my brush? Well, that's because it's one, it's one pixel, it's really small. So as I increase the size of my brush, you can see that my circle becomes larger. So just keep an eye on that when you're working. All right, so let's go ahead. And it says adding the silhouette. In order to do that, we need to make sure everything is on its own layer, layer, new layer. So it says create a new layer every time you add a new silhouette. This is extremely important if you want to edit it later. You can duplicate, rotate, flip, change size, and even overlap the layer. So remember um, one of the things that I like to talk about a lot when we work in Photoshop is if you spend about 20 minutes creating one single fish, that's not a waste of time because you can quickly duplicate that to create a school of fish. Um, so in order to get started, we need to do create a new layer by going to layer new layer on the menu bar And then we have to name it what it is. So if I was to make a fish, it would be a fish So I'm going to come to Photoshop and I'm going to do layer new layer and I'm going to name it seaweed And here I am on the highlighted layer that I want to work from And then it says select the B um, for brush tool from the toolbar and make sure that your, your icon looks like this. And then you're gonna to go to your tool option bar and make sure you have a hard edge. And silhouettes look best black. So right now I have a light color, so I'm gonna click on this black again to have it be a black silhouette. There's my B brush and I'm coming up here and I'm hovering my mouse to make sure it's hard, which it is, and then I can click. The other thing is, is I wanna make sure that my opacity is always at 100. So do you see how that is that, if I lower it? Do you see how that's a different opacity? So just make sure that these are set to 100. The other thing is that sometimes you guys do a keyboard shortcut where your brush looks different. Do you see how that looks different? That's because it's not normal. So just make sure that it's always on the normal mode and then it'll give you the brush that you're expecting. All right. So I would definitely control plus zoom in. I would definitely place my hand on the space bar. And it doesn't really matter where you're placing your seaweed or whatever object you're drawing today because you can move it later since it's on its own layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start to create my seaweed. It's a little slow. And maybe I'm going to have other pieces come out and to the side. Okay, and then when you're done creating, this actually looks more like coral, doesn't it, than seaweed. And then when you're done creating your coral or your seaweed or whatever object you're choosing, squid, scuba diver, right? So here I have, and I'll have it actually, so it has something to go down into. Now because it's on its own layer, I can do control zero and I can do control T and I can move it. And to rotate is a little tricky. You have to slowly move your mouse out until you get your two curvy arrows. And then when you have your curvy arrows, then you can rotate it. And I could even scale it smaller if I want, and I can press enter. Now let's say I really like this seaweed. I want to duplicate it. So I right click on it and go to duplicate layer. Seaweed copy makes sense to me, so I'm fine with that. And then I do control T again. And then I can even rotate 
and maybe I want this guy to get scaled really small and have him over here in my artwork and press enter. Just be mindful that you want to, um, if you ever want to scale something, you can always scale something smaller, but it's very difficult to scale things large again. And so what I mean is if I decided to duplicate this guy and then um, make a larger version of it, it's going to become pixelated. Do you see? So you want to make sure you can always scale smaller, but you never want to scale larger. So there's nothing wrong with keeping things on the larger side and then going from there. So this one I got a little bit further on. So I've used different colors, right? So think about the blues or the purples that you want to use. And you can see that I have um, everybody on its own individual layer and they're named in a way that makes sense to me. Okay. And then I can use my move tool and I can move them around or like we've been doing is we can use the control key and we can kind of rotate and scale, press enter. And if this is on, auto select is on, it jumps to the layers that I want to work on. You see? And then you can keep moving and rotating your images around. All right. So that is uh, what these directions are saying. And then want to change size, rotate, flip, or move your silhouette. It's control T, control T, control T. And then super important, making sure that you press enter when you're all done. That gets rid of the bounding box.